Hello guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> welcome, welcome. My name is Ntahiri Muriki and I am your host. You have been watching me reading my descriptions following me on instagram then you would know that i am starting a very interesting show called you said i said the unspoken this show talks about everything uncomfortable everything unspoken that's why i said you said i said the unspoken meaning you said i said it. you already know that it's a conversation between two or more people and then the unspoken, we're talking about everything uncomfortable, everything unspoken, everything weird, everything controversial, everything. So today's topic is homosexuality in 2022. I have an interesting guest. The guest is going to bring me content, everything that I need and want. That's why I chose him specifically. So yeah, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Please enjoy the show. After this episode, another will job. Who knows what we'll be talking about then. Who knows? So yeah. All right, good evening, everybody. My name is Putum Lohi. My stage name is Krastek Tiva. Um, well, originally, I'm from Melbourne. I'm so privileged and highly honored to be on the show today. To bring as host to me, by the way. Um, basically, I'm an LGBTQI activist. I believe in uh, fighting and advocating for the rights of the LGBTQI people because um, me being myself, I've had to endure like a lot of discrimination and prejudice because of my sexuality and also ever has. I kind of uh, came out and figured out that this is what I want to do. Fighting for the people, it is what I believed in. And I think that's one of the most reasons why Interview wanted me to be on the show. But So we'll hear the rest on the show. Thank you. Right, as you can see, I have my beautiful guest here. So, Bozo, you said earlier that you are introduced as Quest October. Why is that? <laughs> well, so basically, the reason I came up with like Quest October is because like my real name is Question. Okay. You understand? And I was born in October. Mm -hmm. So I figured that if I would say question October, I would be a bit longer. Mm -hmm. So I decided to make it like a bit short and say question well, it's October. October. It's yeah. a dope name. Yeah. 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 Thank you. It's a dope name. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So as you know, we are talking all things homosexual. Absolutely. So to you, what is homosexuality? How, I mean, homosexuality, how do you define it? Okay, I'll go I'll go straight and I'll say homosexuality is that special sexual orientation. Okay. You understand that people do not understand it at all. People do not know where to go say how does a person really become a homosexual mm -hmm. person, you understand? Mm -hmm. Hence I would say like it's it's so special that you don't even understand it. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. So homosexuality it's I don't know how to I even mean, how do I even uh, define it because like it's something that I feel uh, it's in you. Yeah. Never mind how much you try to change it. Yeah. You just can't change it. That brings me to my next question. Actually, okay. I think the most controversial question is that is like well, are homosexual people born like with it or like is it made? Like, do you grow up and be like, you know, I wanna. Then. You know, let me let me be honest with you. Do you remember my first year in varsity? Yes. I was staying here, and I literally did. everyone saw Puto as like a, a very straight person. Obviously, it's it's so weird now that they see me as this feminine person wearing makeup and in bras mm -hmm. and whatever. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. That it, it it was me trying to fight of me being homosexual. Yeah. Do you understand? I failed. I felt so honestly speaking, I'd like to say homosexuality. People are born homosexual. Yeah. You do not just wake up one day and say, I, I wanna be a homosexual. You are born a homosexual. When you say that that people so bored or as a straight yeah, person, <laughs> I wanna tell you that people who know you, who are around you, we saw you. But we couldn't say anything. Okay. Because, like we can't just 
just come to you and as like, you and yeah, yeah. like I think we could see you could we see absolutely see. and see you now like on Instagram look you pop it <laughs> like yo yeah thank you yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it took like it took um I have to say like a great ordeal for me to just accept myself it wasn't easy honestly because yeah. I figured that you know coming to varsity i would be like a whole different version of myself yeah. i would start over i would meet like uh street boys that would get me into street things they mm-hmm. go to my mm-hmm. it was so f- difficult i felt i definitely felt you yeah. understand so hence last year i took it upon myself i would say how long am i going to take it yeah how long am i going to live my life so in the knew, closet like you also knew. i knew way back that i'm gay bro yeah. and the people People in my in my hood they knew it was ah this yeah. you understand? And I would get so much offended when people would say that. But because I'm not really really ready to, to accept my sexuality, I would just let it pass, you understand? Yeah. But now when people say uh oh, okay when or oh, stubborn, it's like I know. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Oh, alright, alright, Adam. So I know also that in public it's really a struggle for people to accept it, like other people. Oh, yeah. Like, what is your most recent, or not even recent, like your most like um, disrespectful encounter or uncomfortable encounter, like you've experienced with the public or someone you're in public? In, in public. Yes, like the one that you say, man, this one. Well, I think we're working to me, Mimosa. You know, obviously, oh, yeah, yeah, in bloom. So okay. I was working to me, Mimosa. You know, obviously, I'm beautiful. I'm so gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Uh, wearing makeup and whatsoever. And then this car stops. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? And then as it stops, were you um, walking along? Yeah, I was walking along. As it stops, the guy's like, "Ah, uh, I went not stop I know And then he just drove away. Do you understand? Yeah. So I figured to go say, okay, he thought I'm a girl. Mm-hmm. That I don't mind it at all. Mm-hmm. So, but the fact y'all would. The disrespect that comes with him saying I went out stubborn and he just drove away. Yeah. It's so f- disrespectful. Yeah. I didn't say you should stop. I didn't call, I, I never said anyhow like, I should be beautiful as I am. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like you understand? Yeah. So I find it so disrespectful because if people tell today they just kinda make use of the fact that gay people do exist, lesbians do exist. Do mm-hmm. you understand? So it's So say someone right now is watching, mm-hmm. they are struggling with this. Like any advice you could give him. Be yourself. <laughs> Honestly, I cannot reiterate it any more further. Yeah. I've I've lived my life. I know my life. It's not easy coming out of the closet. Yeah. But if a person really accepts who they are, you're gonna be the most happy person ever. I've heard so far with my family, I've heard so far with my with my parents. Yes. But because I knew that I am myself and I love myself for who I am. Yes. Nothing ever bothered me of what were they really talking mm-hmm. about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. honestly. And then we are discussing his brother. Um, it's not tense, it's not weird, it's not complicated, but I'd say it's challenging because we're now taking it back to high school in particular, back to school. And now we are analyzing school rules, we are analyzing the school system. In particular, yes, right. So at school, we have these rules that um, females they wear skirts and then males strictly wear pants, and it's absolutely against the school rules to wear a skirt as a male, right? Because it's male, female at school, right? But knowing you, I know Hori, you love female clothes, you love doing you, you love that, like so now. Looking at the school system, is it fair? Now we are looking at it, is it fair? You know, I would I would say um, it's not fair. You know, I would say that, and people, probably people that are watching would say, I'm saying it's unfair because I'm a homosexual person mm-hmm. and I want to wear a skit. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> so, yes, yes. so they would say, I, I'm, I'm saying that it's unfair because I want to wear a skit or rather I want to encourage gays to wear skirts in, in, in school, do you understand? Yes. Because now I, I fail to understand how does how does sexuality have to do with what you wear? Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Professionalism or not, going back to school, I feel like all all, all those schools that, that says if you're a gay person you can't wear a skirt, 
then what, what, what if you feel so feminine that you want to wear a skirt? Yes. It should be a matter of choice if you want to wear a skirt or if you do not want to wear a skirt. Do you understand? So they are oppressing. Like they are oppressing. Oppre absolutely. They are oppressing who you are. Because now, when you're at school, you have to act like a boy. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Or which is something that you are not. Mm -hmm. uh, you might be a boy uh, outside, but inside you're a girl. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So they're oppressing the person that you really want to be. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it should be a matter of choice if gay people want to wear skirts or not. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. So how do you think we can bring it to like the school? Like the, how the do school you, system. Yes, the school system. How do you think we can like approach them? Uh, it's, like, so, it's so it's so difficult. Like, it's it's so challenging to, to, to just change the school policies and and, and rather the, the, the school you know the rules that are set in the school because now I personally am a teacher. Yes. You understand? And I, I, I've had to encounter a, a situation of, of which that one of the principals that where I had to do my practicals mm -hmm. said, You can't come to my school if you're wearing, wearing makeup. Was it because like everyone did not have to wear makeup or was it because it was It you? was because it was me. We all know that all teachers, female teachers, yes. they all wear makeup. You understand? Yes. She'll say things like, um, "Me wearing makeup would would be a distraction, will cause chaos in, in into the school." I've never told the person. I told her. Do you understand? Because I felt that she was attacking me personally. Do you understand? Yes. So it's the same in schools. If we say. All girls should have the choice of wearing a skirt or not. Mm -hmm. It's still going to go back to people that are homophobic mm -hmm. and say, no, now if you allow a, a male person to wear a skirt, mm -hmm. we also have children that are boys there, or should I say, mm -hmm. our learners also go there that are boys. Mm -hmm. Do you want them to adapt that homophobic, not homophobic, homosexuality behavior? Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Because people feel, feel like, yeah, yeah, this, yeah, this like, in, you can, it's Absolutely, people, oh, yes. Yeah. So obviously it is a chain, bruh. For, for a certain thing to just happen, even in schools, for rules to happen, you also got to start somewhere first, do you understand? Yes. So now imagine if it starts with an, a homophobic person, mm -hmm. it also goes to another homophobic person. Yeah, it's like we know it happen. close, we know it close. Absolutely. And how, how did the learners uh, like take you? Like how, how will you approach? Like when my makeup. first time was yes. my festival, because yes. I started wearing makeup this year on school, at yeah. schools basically. Yeah. My learners were so, what's the word? Appreciative of me. Mm. My learners respected me, bruh. I've never, I've never been in a situation where I felt so much love from people that were, it was their first time seeing me. Do you understand? Mm. They called me ma'am. Mm. At first, I wasn't sure of what pronouns should they use. Yes, I'm, they also, I'm also having so like, like, what pronouns do you use? Oh, yes. The way I'm so confident and comfortable with my sexuality right now, mm -hmm. she, her, her, hers are so much fine, you understand? Okay. Because now, I was also confused of whether my nana should call me ma'am mm -hmm. or say, you understand? Mm -hmm. But in all the majority of classes that I had to go to, mm -hmm. they would all call me ma'am. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I kind of understood Obote. now that I'm confused I'm not sure of what exactly should we call her mm -hmm. do you understand yeah. I made peace with that and there will also be other learners that will call me say mm -hmm. I don't know how to react to that so and I like know like my learners yo I've <coughs> As I said, I've never been defended like that. Mm -hmm. Some would say, why would be the man? Why would be the say? Give me, give me. Do you understand? I, do you understand? Yeah. I felt so much loved. Honestly, I have to say, I hope in all the schools that I have to go to, yeah. I receive the same love and respect. Yeah. I appreciate it so much. That's nice. That's lovely. Mm. All right. So now, we are talking about things to say. And things not mm -hmm. to say. What is the specific thing that you would like to put out there? Do not say this to homosexual people. Don't say this to the bra. Yeah. Okay. Yo, don't say this to the bra. What I, I feel like the word stubborn it's in Sutu yeah. and Sutu has that harsh harshness when yeah. you say things. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Come to me and say okay. Yeah. That, I feel like it's it's much better. Okay. But still, don't even say that. Do you understand? Yeah. Don't even say that. Who still says that? Yeah. People need to be educated of such things. Mm -hmm. You can't just say certain things to people and expect that they do not just react. Because mm -hmm. now I'm going to tell you where to get off and you're not going to like me for the rest of your life. Do you understand? Yeah. Come to me, ask nicely, Ogoti, hey, are you interested in boys? Probably. Yeah. Do you understand? If you do, you're not a, a 
quite aware of the term are you interested are, are you a, a homosexual person mm -hmm. do you understand that is much respectful mm -hmm. don't just come to me and say ah it's stubborn you're f that that boils me yeah. do you understand yeah. Because in all my life, I've heard to encounter such things. Yeah. People telling me, you'll never be a girl. Why we get that one, Yana? Do you understand? Mm -hmm. that, is, that, that shit is so painful. Mm -hmm. But because um, we, 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 we get to understand people, or because people are just people, mm -hmm. and they are, they are raised to be like that. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? I may preach with that. Yeah. Do you understand? Because I've, a lot of gays are getting mm -hmm. killed. A lot of gays are getting uh, harassed. Mm -hmm. A lot of gays are getting uh, uh, assaulted. Mm -hmm. And when when you report such cases, they would say, "Oh, your daughter, why can't you defend yourself?" Oh, they say that. That's what they say. Police would oh. literally laugh at you, literally, if you oh. go there and report a case of a homosexual person. Yeah. They understand? Oh, your daughter, why would we get someone younger still? Yeah. Yeah, one. So I feel that people need to be educated. And people just need to know what the we are one. And and it might happen that someday it's their child mm -hmm. being a gay person. Mm -hmm. And I would like to see that energy given to yes. that to that to that child. Yes. Wow. Okay. Absolutely. So you said earlier that you had to fight with your family, you had to fight with what your parents. How what happened? Like how did you tell them? How did they react? I did not really get to tell them. I feel like our family know us so much, mm -hmm. you understand, that you don't really get to say anything to them or anyhow. Mm -hmm. Because growing up, they know that, okay, this this person is not the same as other boys, mm -hmm. you understand? So, why should I go back and report back? Mm -hmm. That is that that is one thing that I hate. It's the same as saying, um, uh, when you bring in your, 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 your boyfriend at home and say, Mom, this is my, this is, uh, my boyfriend. Why should you announce it? Yeah. Do you understand? Oh, okay. Because I feel like parents need you to call a family meeting and say, okay, mom, I'm gay. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not. That's one thing that I told myself always I'm not going to do. Because the same way um, a straight person will not come and say, mom, I'm straight. Okay. Why I'm should I? Why I'm should I come to my parents and say, mom, I'm gay? Mm -hmm. Why should I? Automatically, they should know that, okay. Whatever sexuality our child is, we will love and appreciate her. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. That's the same as a straight person. Do you understand? Yeah. So I kind of fought with my family because obviously I wasn't into makeup. I would dress all masculine. I would be a boy, literally. Yeah. Do you understand? So now, when it came to a point of me changing and accepting myself, mm -hmm. I would wear makeup. You understand? Yeah. I would I would wear skates. Mm -hmm. I would wear heels. Yes. My mom was like, "This is so disgusting." Really? Yeah. She was like, "This oh. is so disgusting." Mm -hmm. it, 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 it first started with me wearing makeup. Okay. I would only get her to makeup was right. Actually, no. I, I first sent her a picture of me and my friend, yeah. and she was like, "So when I was only gay, I felt it. Can have me as well." And she was like, also, oh, you're not even going to deny that you're gay. Mm -hmm. So why should I deny? You see me wearing makeup. Why should I deny that I'm gay? I'm gay. Yeah. You understand? And now it escalated that she told me words that I'm not really good or things like, oh, do you understand? It was really, really painful hearing that from a parent saying that, oh, yeah. how are people HIV or it was, it was just so emotional yeah. and painful I but i i really thank god for the person that i am like i'm so strong mm -hmm. you understand how, how is the relationship between you and your mom right now? I'll, I'll come to that okay. i have to say like I'm, I'm a very strong person god made me to be all the energy that she was giving me the homophobic energy that she was giving me I would just mise and just live my life. And I'll come out to the public as the most happy person ever. Mm -hmm. And no one would even notice that I'm sad or no one would even notice that I've been going through the most. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So I have to say I'm grateful because I not even I would once I would I were to think that what can I even kill myself? Mm -hmm. I never ever heard like a suicidal thoughts because I felt to say this person brought me to earth. Why should I kill myself? Mm -hmm. If she does not appreciate me for the person that I am, mm -hmm. I will learn to love myself mm -hmm. and I learn to appreciate myself. Mm -hmm. And the bitch, I am I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm, I'm myself, literally, I'm myself. Yeah. So 
Yeah, it, it got so toxic, like really, really toxic. She was saying like hateful stuff and I said like that uh one young time you're disgusting, but I would reciprocate the same energy. And you know people, what would people say? People would say that I'm a very disrespectful person. I am not disrespectful. People need to learn that whoever comes at me with my sexuality, mm -hmm. I'm gonna so I'm gonna serve you that you give it to me on a silver platter, mm -hmm. and you have to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So whether you are my family, my parent or friend, whatever, mm -hmm. if you come at me with the that why are you gay or, or whatever you insult in my sexuality, mm -hmm. bruh, I'm gonna serve you. I'm gonna serve you. You don't have to give it. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. And don't you ever come to me and say you are disrespectful. You provoke to me. Yeah. I'm a very nice person. But if you attack me yeah. with my sexuality, you are attacking me personally and I can I cannot just deal with that. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So my relationship with my mom right now, it is still a bit rocky. It is still a bit rocky because I feel like eventually she's beginning to understand that I'm not gonna change anyhow. Mm -hmm. Because I, I respected my mom so much, mm -hmm. I feared my mom so much, but I came to understand she will not always be here do you understand mm -hmm. now if i want to leave according to how she wants me to leave then what happens when she's gone yeah okay. do you understand mm -hmm. it, it, it'll be me wanting to start from scratch mm -hmm. say yes mm -hmm. it'll be me wanting to start from scratch i'm i'm trying to rectify the mistakes that i did because i feared my mom yes. i chose myself now you're trying to love you now and you're studying absolutely you. absolutely yes. do you understand yes. so i told myself because i'm not going to be a victim of uh, of, of those people that were like uh, uh, accept being straight because their parents want them to be straight mm -hmm. I chose not to be that person yes. if you say be, 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 be my, my mom was like I don't mind you being gay yes. do you understand? Okay. but why do you have to be feminine? I want to be feminine make peace with that yeah absolutely I want to be feminine I don't feel fully gay mm -hmm. when I'm wearing masculine clothes yes I'm a man literally my mom wants a gay man. Do you understand? Like, not, 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 not a feminine or should I say a female gay. Yeah. I'm a female gay. I'm, I'm a girl. Yeah. Do you understand? So that is one thing along the we, we couldn't agree on. But now our relationship is still, I have to say, it's rocky. We still fight there and there. Mm -hmm. um, she wouldn't even compliment me wearing makeup. Yeah. She would just keep quiet. Yeah. Not that it bothers me, yeah. but I know that I look conscious, mm -hmm. and I know that she also wants to say something. But because mm -hmm. she she still has that mental towards I don't agree with this nonsense. She's not gonna say anything. Yeah. I'm not bothered. Wow. Absolutely wow. I'm not. That's interesting. I know. I know. All right. Okay. We have come. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> we crying. have come to the end of our session. This was very. Interesting. You are a very interesting person. Thank I love you. your energy. Love Keep you so doing much. what you're doing. Absolutely. You know. Yeah, I love it. Oh, hey guys, please follow him on Facebook, um, Twitter, and uh, actually not Twitter. I don't really do Twitter that much. Mm -hmm. uh, but Facebook, I'm um, Bottom Louis, and then on Instagram, I'm um, Quest October. Um, yeah, Quest October. Just don't forget the name. That's I'll write it somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Thank you for coming. We Thank love you for having me. Having you. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Please comment down below. Show you some love or her or tell you know. Yeah. I love it. I love the energy. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.